Hello, in this video we'll see how to create a new custom visual object using a grasshopper definition. And for this purpose we'll use the uh, element object which is aimed at any generic element that doesn't fit with the rest of the object types. So we'll create a lower system for this facade. So first of all we run grasshopper in the command line we open the grasshopper file that generates this lower system and if we take a look at the preview we can see that this definition generates on one hand some geometry for the structure of the system and on the other hand the louvers if we take a look at the parameters that define the shape of this geometry we can see here the depth, width and basically all the parameters that define this, this object for example the aperture as well OK, we save the definition, we close it, and back to the model. Now we will open the element style dialog, doing right click on the element icon. We already have one object here created, but we will select the element styles, click on the new style button, and select the grasshopper style. Here we can choose the definition we have just saved. We click next. Here we can see the geometry that generates Grasshopper in the background. We can define the style name, the definition units, also an insertion point that in this case we'll choose none since the position of this object will be the one that we select when we insert it. Click next and here we see the two components that we had as a geometry parent in the grasshopper definition. We can define them to model representation and also we could assign them to a plan representation. If there is no uh, plan selected, the 2D representation of this object will be the real cut when we show it in, in plan view. We click next and here we get the list of the parameters that we had in the definition. Each one of them can be typed, so for example the aperture could be a percentage and each one can be defined by a style, by definition, or by object. Okay, in case of the aperture, it's something that we want to edit by object for each element in the model, same as the overall depth, height, and width. But there are some other uh, parameters, for example, discount, that we want to define by definition, since it's something that was used in the definition, but we, are not, we don't need to see it anymore in the visual art dialogs. The rest of parameters will be parameters editable by a, by a style. We click finish when we are done and here we have the new style with the option to change the style parameters whenever we want. We click OK and now we can already insert the element in the model. So let's move to the top viewport. We will activate the level 0 plane. We zoom in and now we can insert the element object. We choose the one that we have just created. We can see here the list of the parameters. So we choose the insert point. And as the width, we can already pick the distance from this icon here. So we want it to measure from here up to this point. And finally, the direction of this object. Once the object is inserted, now we just need to change the height. For this, in this case, we will isolate these two objects, watch them from one of the side builds, here they are. And now we can select this object and change its height. So we take a look at its parameters. And again, we measure the height. We make sure, in this case, the project snap point is on. From this point up to this point. And finally, we hide the rest of objects 
we can copy it several ti times to cover the rest of the deficit. So we'll move back to the top viewport. We will use, in this case, a rectangular array. Number in x direction would be 1, and in y direction would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. In that direction, just one. So now we select the space, spacing point from here up to here, and finally hit enter. So we have now all the louvers systems generated and we can change the parameters by, by each one of them so we can change the aperture for this one to 50% or this one to 